so hopefully you guys didn't have any problems. Um, we are so pleased that you're here today, and we have got a great vehicle that we're showing you. And in fact, this is one of the first regional auto shows uh, that the, the 2023 Dodge Hornet has been to. Uh, it was at Detroit uh, earlier, but so you guys are privileged to see it first before um, many consumers and media have seen it. Uh, so we're um, thankful that you can make the check over here and check it out. So our presenter today is Fernando Fernandez um, Sanchez, and he just uh, actually just came in from Mexico, and he's been busy. Uh, he's been on the Dodge Band for a while, and uh, he'll take you through this product. And it's just a great. You'll learn. It's just it makes a, a lot of sense for Dodge to have this entry level vehicle with some great horsepower to bring um, younger people and folks who love the compact utility vehicle segment into the brand. And so Fernando will take you through that. And so we appreciate you coming here today. Thank you. Thanks, Kimberly. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, so welcome everybody. As Kimberly said, I'm Fernando Fernandez. I'm the Dodge uh, product brand uh, manager for Hornet. And I'm very excited to come, come uh, meet, you all, meet you all here and showcase our new gateway to muscle. Uh, I'll take a step back to explain a little bit of why, how we envision bringing a Hornet into the market. So whenever we design a new product in Dodge, we have one thing in mind, right? Our cohort of, of uh, enthusiasts, we call them the brotherhood of muscle, the all in an active crowd. These are people that are highly passionate about their cars, highly engaged with them. They love how they look, how they feel, how they drive. So we wanted to stay clear, stay clear to those uh, core values, right? We know that they are younger, younger than most of, most of the other segments. We know that they make up 40% of our, our uh, customers right now. And we know that they, they tend to be excited about the electrification and what it can bring to the market. So we wanted to keep those, those guys, and, guys and girls in mind uh, when we were envisioning Hornet, right? We, we as a brand aspire to bring this muscle car experience to more and more people through the, through the ages, right? We started off distilling the brand to its core performance. Uh, with our core three products, we know that we are the only uh, American performance brand, right? Focusing on performance alone. So we wanted to stay true to that. And uh, the way to do it is start to keep the attitude but remove the barriers, right? We, we know that the traditional muscle car is sometimes hard to hard to live with, day day in and day out, right? The two door two door 800 uh, horsepower beast is not is not your daily driver for most people. So we've tried to remove those barriers, right? We have Charger that uh, that's the only <clears throat> muscle car with four doors, right? We have Durango, which is the most powerful SUV out there, and and Hornet is essentially expanding that idea, right? We want to remove barriers to entry to the brotherhood of muscle. So when we thought about that, removing the barriers and keeping the attitude, we thought, hey, how about we go in and disrupt the fastest growing segment in the industry, right? Compact UV is a very, a very uh, uh, impressive segment. It's grown substantially over the last couple of years and it's, it's gonna continue to grow over the next years. So a million people, we figured, hey, from a million people, there's gotta be some that wanna have fun, right? So. So we know that top reasons of purchase of that huge segment are value, uh, MPG, price for the car. We know that's not Dodge, right? We know that our top, top reasons of purchase for Dodge are power, power and acceleration, uh, fun to drive, and exterior styling, right? So we, we're not gonna do the CUV the way the CUVs are done. We're gonna do a Dodge CUV. So, Hornet is just that. It's gonna deliver on those three promises that are true to our Dodge brand. We're gonna have the bragging rights of having the most power in the segment. Both, on both our powertrains, I'll walk you through the details of how we laid out the, the two um, platforms. But we're gonna have the bragging rights on both accounts, right? We're gonna own the segment as far as uh, power and acceleration. Then we have the looks. I mean, you walk around the car. I know I'm totally biased, but it's a looker, right? It's got... <laughs> Very distinct Dodge uh, cues from the male slot uh, grill in the front, the hood scoops, the rear raised tail light. It's all, it's all there, right? Our our driver interior, driver centric interior. It's it's gonna feel like a like a cockpit and a Dodge and a Dodge interior as well. 
So the second thing we, we needed to the, the deliver on is the engaging driving experience, right? So unfortunately, you won't, you won't be able to drive it around today, but we'll have a, we'll have a events in due time to let you experience it. It's truly a car that uh, I've been uh, touring around with it, uh, bringing more and more executives in there and uh, uh, people that have been lucky to drive it. And it's always uh, one of those cars where people get in and then get out, get out with, a, with a smile on their faces, right? It's, uh, it's really an engaging, an, experience, an engaging experience and a fun car to drive, uh, which cannot really be said of much, uh, of much of the compact UV segment, if you ask me. <laughs> so, so Horny is gonna deliver on that. And the way we're, we're doing it is, is by, um, by setting up the, the, a very streamlined and very efficient product plan. We have two versions. Uh, you only have, we only have one today, but we have two main uh, trim levels. So our base, and I air quote base because it's, it's everything but base. Our entry, our entry GT uh, has a Hurricane 4 engine, turbocharged four-cylinder four engine delivering 268 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. So it's, it's mid to low six, six seconds, zero to 60, right? So, and that's our entry. Level, right? That's our, our baseline of, of muscle, right? We, we, went, we know that if we wanted to splash the compact UV segment, we had to do it the Dodge way, right? With a bang. So, so that's GT. And then if you go, go up the ladder, our performance ladder, and, as, and you'll see it is very consistent to our other uh, stable mates in Dodge, we go to the RT, right? Now the kicker on the Hornet RT is that we're doing it, um, still gonna do a, a very consistent electrified performance step up, but the kicker on this one is we're doing it with electrification. So we get a 1.3 liter uh, turbocharged engine powering the front wheels and a completely independent rear ele uh, electric axle delivering all that instantaneous torque that you get from, a, from an EDM, right? So overall the package combined can deliver north of 285 horsepower, so a big step up in uh, like 20, 20 plus horsepower in, in, in the GT2RT, but that's not the whole story, right? We're going from 295 pound-feet of torque to 383 combined uh, pound-feet of torque. So you get that almost V-like level of torque going to the rear axle, and that, that, that green just got bigger on, on most, of, uh, most of the people that get in. When, uh, when Tim Kaniskis, the big boss, uh, drove the two, he's an old, old school hot rodder, right? Like most of us, and, and, and he, he was skeptical you're gonna tell me we're gonna slap an RT batch on a 1.3 liter turbocharged engine? Give me a break, right? But when he drove both back to back, he was like, oh yeah, we can put the, the RT batch on this one. I mean, the performance is there, the snappiness, it's even got a better weight distribution because we're splitting the powertrain into the front and the rear axle. So everything's there to call the RT a proper RT and, and delivering electrified performance for the first time for the brand. And as you know from other, from other reviews that we've done, that's how we're evolving the brand towards the, the evolution to, to performance through electrification, right? And after you, essentially the, the, the selection process for a, for a Hornet customer is basically that, that decision, right? What do you wanna have as a powertrain and a, and a power level? GT with the traditional ICE engine or RT and the electrified performance, right? This performance hybrid. Uh, after that is dealer's choice. Uh, we've, we've bundled all of the content in four very distinct packages, which, which makes the, the shopping and the stocking of the car much more simpler, right? It's only four options that you, that you can select. You want the, the niceties and the premium features, the, critter, the, comfort, uh, the comfort features that, uh, that you get on a fully loaded CUV. So think leather, sunroof, uh, best-in-class Harman Kardon audio, it all comes bundled in what we call the plus variants, right? So you can get those on both GT or on RT powertrains. So again, choose your power, and after that is, is whatever you want to tack on top of it, right? You want all of the latest um, assistant uh, driving technologies, you, you got them on a tech pack, right? Everything from a 360 view camera, um, highway assist, the parking assist, everything comes bundled together in what we call tech pack. This car has it if you want to look around uh, after we're done. You want, you want the killer looks and the, uh, and the all Dutch sinister look. We have uh, our traditional black top. So that comes with a 
blacked out, uh, blacked out uh, badges all around. Uh, this high gloss uh, ELO on the on the windows, the black color mirror caps. And if it, if you're picking it up for a GT, you you get an upgrade on from 17 inch to 18 inch wheels, all blacked of course. So so you get this whole blacked out, uh, blacked up look that we we have on our other Dodge products, and it's very uh, very successful with our customers. And finally, I left I left the best for last, my personal favorite, which is Track Pack. Track Pack, it's essentially our our um, our all out performance package, right? It it bumps you up all the way to a 20 inch wheel, which is not this exact design, but I'm sure you've you've seen the pictures of the other cars. 20 inch blacked out wheels, you get those uh, four piston uh, fixed caliper uh, brakes in the front, Brembos and and a bigger rotor compared to the to the to the normal um, GT on RT. And you also get Alcantara seats uh, and the dual stage valve suspension. So this these shocks will allow you to have very distinct profiles of um, of dampening. So with the push of a sport button, you can go from a very very smooth riding and very uh, very comfortable ride in the in the freeway to all out all out performance. Right. So a stiffer stiffer uh, dampening reaction. A lot of uh, control in the body roll, so you you know when you when you hit the sport button, you know what you know it's on, right? And that's the other cool thing about it, right? We're Dodge, so we know how to do a sport button. This is not just gonna be a little dash light that goes on and, and puts you in the mood of just like thinking you're driving faster. No, this car GT and RT truly have an, a sport button, right? Everything from throttle pedal mapping to the suspension, if you have the dual stage valve. To the shifting of the transmission, the reaction of the powertrain, if it's the gas or the uh, or the electrified powertrain, you know it's it's in sport mode and it's on, right? And and talk about sport mode and and this drive modes in the RT particularly, we also have a brand new exclusive feature that we're calling Power Shot, essentially priming everything on the on the electrified powertrain to deliver the maximum performance in short bursts of time. So if you're driving or if you're static on an RT and you put both paddle shifters back, you'll get into, into what we call power shot mode, right? And that lets the car know that it's, it's on for business and, and it'll, it'll just check the batteries in, in the right state and the right temperature. And the, the second you slam the, the throttle, you'll get 25, 25 more extra horsepower and you'll, you'll get that instantaneous torque that I was talking about, right? Full on. That slim down a, a second from uh, zero to sixty from the normal launch on an RT to the uh, to a launch with um, with power shot. So we're very excited about bringing all of these new features that we that we can get away with with this electrified uh, electrified uh, package. Again, <clears throat> we're doing performance first, and electrification is an enabler, enabler to it, right? But we're staying true to our to our Dodge brand and to our RT uh, badges, right? That's why we're not calling it the Hornet PEF or the Hornet EE or Hornet whatever. It's an RT through and through. It just happens to do it through electrification, and that's all. All of our all of our um, idea of how to evolve to electrification is that, right? Performance made us do it. It's a it's a means to deliver the same promise that we've given our customers to the Dodge brand and that have, are loyal to our Dodge brand because we keep true to that right? performance and American muscle. So with that, uh, I'll open up to the floor to some questions. And if you, oh, yeah.